Hey guys, I have a figure here today that I think a lot of you have been waiting for. Sorry I haven't done a review on this or an unboxing for a while, but let me just show you guys the postcard and you'll know right away what it is. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, we're gonna have to censor some stuff. <laughs> anyway, this is one of the figures from Native and uh, Magic Bullets, as well as uh, Kalami. Kalame? I think that's how you say it. Kalame Project. Let me just put the postcard away. And the character, I'm reading off of a list, apologies, uh, is Aid Sagata. And the artist is Nibu Natsuki. And it is a 1 7 scale. So I think I'll have to look. This is the only figure I have from. Magic bullets, but this might be one of their first ones. By the way, this box, freaking awesome! This is so cool. I really like this. I wish more figures would just come in boxes like this. But you know, it's very creative. So there is instructions, which we will probably read later. We're gonna throw some of these things aside just so they're not in the way of the shot. So there's the extra bits. So there's two underwear in here for some reason. Oh, right. This one holds the the toy. I don't know if you guys can see that. This one holds the toy and this one probably just sits in front and then there's the toy. So we'll just put that to the side for now. And we'll open up the real figure. That was not easy to open. At least the packaging is really well done here. Downside is, putting this back later is gonna be a huge pain in the butt. Which I'm not excited for. So here's the stand, basic black plastic stand. Nothing crazy. Don't think it even has a little texture on it, which I don't think it really needs. She sits in a chair anyway. Let's see. Um, well, it's got a gloss, gloss texture to it. Which is gonna, it's gonna magnetize a lot of things, I'm sure. A lot of dust. Here's the chair. Nice lightweight. Kinda worried that this might break. Just be careful with this. <laughs> you don't want that breaking. And then here's the figure itself. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I don't know if I mentioned before, this is a 1 7 scale figure. Okay. Goes there. Wow, very beautifully done. Nice choice of colors, very good looking matte. Oh, and then even in the, uh, the texture of her clothing, at least here in the arms, you can see there's a bit of a shine. Maybe you guys can see it. There's kind of like a little bit of a glitter texture. This looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt to unwrap. I'm going to unwrap this on the side. <laughs> Try not to break anything. Which I think is going to be, it's going to, so, if you guys know anything about cast off figures, they scratch pretty easily. And, well, they don't scratch very easily. But because it's a figure that's gonna have bits and pieces coming in and out all the time, this is gonna scratch for sure. So expect the back of this to scratch. And uh, future me enjoy censoring this because it's gonna be a pain in the butt. And that's not that's not a pun or anything. Let's see what else is here. I'm confused. So the toy is already here in one version. Well, I will have to look at the instructions. So let's see. Does that mean... I wonder where... I guess you can... Oh, uh, you can just put the toy um, in front, is what it says. 
So, interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, let's put it together. Like I said before, be careful with the chair that you could probably break that getting that all set up. And we will do just the basic one to start. Oh, that actually, I don't, you guys didn't really get to see that. Maybe I'll show it with the next one. But this joint popped in very easily. So I'm not actually too worried about that in the future. God knows how she's gonna sit though. wasn't super easy to put together, but it's not too bad. So here she is. And I guess, yeah, she's kind of like standing up in the chair. So anyway, one seven scale figure standing at about 10 inches. It's a pretty good scale. And uh, it's a very beautiful figure. Very nicely done. I mean, honestly, if you're going to spend the money native, is the way to go. But they only do they only do this type of figures. But the quality is always really well done. Oh, even the so this yeah, you can see it's not fully didn't get it fully wedged in there. Hmm. Well, I guess once it's set up, that wouldn't really be a problem. But, you know, let's, uh, let's go ahead and open the eyes, the extra books. So this would go here, I'm guessing. Okay, it would go like this. Here you go. nicely done. Just fits there snugly, not too, it's not going to come out or anything. That actually looks better with that, in my opinion. More of a tease. And the other stuff, so let's see, there's the toy here. It's so tiny, I don't even think the camera's going to pick it up very well. But anyway, you can just set that. Set that there. There's no area to stick it to anything, so I guess you could put a little bit of tape or something if you don't want it going anywhere. Or you could just not have it. Anyway, I'm going to take this apart and show you guys the other, the other body. The second half is a little bit harder fitting in there, but it's not too bad, just like this. Getting these guys on was a pain in the butt, though. So, I'm not really sure. Maybe there's a little bit of a better solution to it. Doesn't look like it fully fits uh, here. There's a little joint here that that fits, but... Anyway, there it is with the other body. So, not too bad. Native always does a great job, so can't complain with their their quality. Anyway, guys, I will probably have a full review of this figure eventually. Just been super busy, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys next time. Becoming a patron with Otaku Reviews now has many benefits. Tier 1, starting at just a dollar, will get you uncensored content, the super crappy unboxing of boxes, and behind the scenes Patreon only posts, as well as an automatic entry to win the official Splatoon 2 plushie. 
Tier 2, starting at $2, will get you all of the stuff in Tier 1, except you will be entered to win the Nendroid May from Overwatch instead of the plushie. So, if you would like to win one of these goodies, please donate at that tier. And once we get 100 patrons, I will be adding new prizes from Kotobokiya, Skytube, Native, Rocket Boy, and more.